Eva Day, Betty Davis, Jane Russell, B. Arthur, Diva Day. Fasten your seat belts because we're gonna make Betty Davis's mustard gelatin ring. Yum. I beat four eggs. I'm setting them aside. You know, everybody knows who Betty Davis is. You think of her as this, this tough broad. And, and she was. On her tombstone, it says she did it the hard way. We're gonna mix sugar and gelatin together. I had a hard time finding gelatin. Really? No gelatin? What is everybody making aspic during the pandemic? You've heard of the Hollywood Canteen. During World War II, soldiers could hobnob and get to meet the stars. Benny Davis started that. I'm gonna stir in dry mustard and turmeric. She also toured with Hattie McDaniel, Lena Horne, and Ethel Waters. Little salt. And now I'm adding water and apple cider vinegar to my beaten eggs. This might be the strangest recipe yet. Oh, but you don't know what I'm making from Jane Russell. Now, I stir in the sugar and gelatin mixture. This is my uh, makeshift double boiler. I'm supposed to stir until thickened. Okay, it's starting to get thick. So I'm gonna remove it from the heat and let it cool. I tell you, all I can do is smell mustard and vinegar. I mean, who wants mustard and vinegar gelatin? Oh, Betty, really? Really? Now I'm going to whip some cream. So I have my whipped cream. I did stiff peaks. It just said whip the cream. It didn't say stiff peaks or soft pink peaks. I have my cool gelatin mixture, which, ah, it's kind of runny, not sure. And now I'm just gonna fold the gelatin, the mustard and vinegar gelatin, um, into my whipping cream. Oh boy, oh boy, huh? Betty Davis was nominated for 10 Academy Awards, winning for Dangerous and Jezebel. She just got the part of Jezebel um, sort of as a uh, consolation prize for not getting the role of Scarlet and Gone with the Wind. All right, it's really soupy. This might be a disaster. I'm supposed to put it into a ring mold. I don't have a ring mold, but I have these pretty little uh, silicone flower molds, so I'm gonna put it into that. All right, this kind of, I don't have the whipped cream incorporated, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid to mix it anymore. So here we go. Yum. Then you're supposed to serve this with coleslaw mixed with pineapple tidbits. I'm not making this up. B. Arthur, Maud, Golden Girl, and one of the first female Marines. She volunteered to join the Marines before World War II. And during World War II, Staff Sergeant Arthur drove a truck. I am making Staff Sergeant Arthur's avocado with jellied mad madrilene. Madrilene. It says a can of madrilene consomme. Yeah. I could not find that in the Campbell's aisle. Consomme madrilene. I didn't know what it was. I had to look it up and then I had to make it. And I'm telling you, it took a long, long time. But it's not in her recipe, so I'm not gonna tell you how to make it because you're never gonna make this. But I have my consomme madrilene. It might be a little thick for consomme. I don't know. And to this, I pour lemon juice and sherry. I mix it up. I let it thicken again. Then I have the avocados, scoop out the pit, fill this mixture into the hollow of the avocado and garnish with sour cream and chives. That's it. B. Arthur's avocado with jelly mandoline. Mmm. I was going to do this part off camera, but that would be cheating, right? Because we all know the best part of baking shows is the unveiling of the mold. Successful? or not. 
Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, one flop. That's okay. I have extra. I have extra. You, go away. You, can I get you? Oh, I can. Oh my gosh, it's worked. All right, I'm gonna clean that up. Oh, it still stinks like mustard and vinegar. Guys. It's looking good, huh? Coleslaw, I just bought it because there was no recipe. And pineapple tidbits. I don't know how much. That's more than enough, I'm sure. Stir this up. And it garnishes the middle of the ring. Mustard gelatin ring garnished with coleslaw and pineapple from Betty Davis. Jane Russell's Iceberg Puff. Iceberg puff. This, this recipe fascinates me because as I read through it, it almost sounds like it's going to turn into an iceberg lettuce souffle. I'm excited about this one. So I've had iceberg lettuce crisping in the refrigerator and now I'm to coarsely chop it and boil it. You know, I almost feel a little sorry for Jane Russell. She was a very, very reluctant sex symbol. Howard Hughes discovered her and her ample assets and built a whole movie campaign around them, The Outlaw. Now the pictures for the movie poster were beautiful, but they were very provocative for the era. And so the Motion Picture Association banned it from opening. For three years, this movie was tied up in court to get released. Finally, Howard Hughes decided to capitalize on that and he started promoting the band so that he could get public demand to see it. Jane Russell was a very devout Christian and she started a Hollywood Bible study group when some um, jerk actually asked her how she could be a Christian with her voluptuous figure. She said, Christians can have big breasts too. All right, I'm supposed to have four cups lightly packed, still a little too much, and boil them. So in goes the lettuce for five minutes. You know, if you put your wooden spoon across the top of your pan, it won't boil over. Now I'm going to make a bechamel. Melted butter, white pepper, margarine, salt, half and half, a little cornstarch. And I'm gonna simmer that until it thickens. Jane Russell was the brunette in the classic gentlemen prefer blondes with Marilyn Monroe. I guess they got along wonderfully. In fact, I've never heard anyone say a bad word about Marilyn Monroe. Just a less than an eighth of a teaspoon of this seasoning, especially white pepper, that is some. I love it, but that's some strong stuff. One tablespoon cornstarch, and I did the half and half. All right, let's thicken it. For those of you playing along at home, you'll notice I did that wrong. I always do. Melt the butter first. Melt the butter first, Kathy. Melt the butter first. It's been five minutes, so my lettuce is draining. I'm not so sure about the bechamel because it had no flour in it, so I guess it's not really a bechamel. Um, I don't know if it's the way it's supposed to be or not. It looks a little curdly to me. But now I'm supposed to separate two eggs, and I'll be using both the whites and the yolks. There. And now I'm gonna whip the whites to stick up. I'm gonna whip the whites to stiff peaks. Go! Go, Dimitri, down, come on, come on. Yeah, go. You know, I wasn't happy with my curdly bechamel slash white sauce, and I have enough ingredients to do it over, so I think I'm going to. That happens sometimes. I'm going to melt the butter first this time. 
I redid my white sauce and I'm so glad I did. Now it's nice and velvety. And I am to fold my boiled lettuce and egg yolks into the white sauce. And then I fold in the egg whites and I bake it. If you were around in the 70s, you know Jane Russell from Playtex's 18 hour bra. She just couldn't get away from it, could she? Once I fold in the egg whites, I cook it in a water bath. Now I have all these pans here. This one is going to be my water bath. That means I'm just gonna fill it halfway up with water or maybe not quite halfway because we don't want it to obviously spill over. And I'll butter one of these and use it. This is a normal souffle casserole, but I don't know if I have enough for that. I might use this smaller one. We'll see once I get the egg whites in there. And you bake it at 400 degrees for an hour and it puffs because it's Jane Russell's lettuce puff. My taste tester has no idea what she's tasting tonight <laughs> with my divas. I'm gonna put my larger dish in the oven on the rack then I'm going to put my souffle in there. Then I'm going to pour the water in. That's really the only way to do it. Don't try to carry the whole thing by itself to the rack. It's not going to work. Everybody, it's tasting for This looks scary. This is B. Arthur's avocado with mandoline jelly garnished with sour cream and chives, and in the mandoline jelly, or I should say mandoline consomme, is some sherry. Thank God. <laughs> now you might ask, what is mandoline consomme? And I will tell you that it's a consomme, much like a beef consomme, only made with vegetables. So this is a vegetarian dish. Okay. So let's give it a shot. Huh? Um, I made the consomme myself. I don't know how to eat it. You know, I, there's no wrong way. Alright. I'm sure that's I'm going to put a lot of sour cream on it, that's for sure. I'm, I want to taste the consomme first. No, I don't. Is it bad? Oh, Frank, don't do it. No. It's not bad with the sour cream. Okay, maybe it's just, maybe I shouldn't have. You know, if you take the whole bite, take the whole take bite. Take the whole bite. Okay, okay. Avocado. Okay. Avocado. Avocado. Okay. Consomme, sour cream and chives. Okay. Doing it, I'm doing it. There's surprisingly not that much wrong with that. Mm, okay. No, yeah, that's fair. You know who B. Arthur is? No. Maud, Golden Girls. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yes. I didn't mean to disparage her. I love her. She has an LGBTQT, a boys home named after her in New York. She is quite an advocate from an early age. I did not know that. Yes, she does. This is edible. I'm not so sure about our next course. I, I think edible is a stretch. For our next course, we have Betty Davis's mustard gelatin with coleslaw pineapple garnish. Wow. This is eclectic. Why not? Betty Davis says to serve this on a summer buffet with a baked ham. Uh, like one bite, eh? I, I'm going to take it with the pineapple just because I like pineapple. Yes. It's okay. like the one thing on this plate that you I do hate like. mustard. Right. I have known you for. This how is long? a big deal for me to this eat is, mustard. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm going to complain about this one less. Okay. Not as bad as you might think. No, I agree. I think the apple cider vinegar is a more prevalent taste than the mustard, which I appreciate. Yeah, I mean, good for you, friend. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Just, I'm so impressed right now. It is not horrible. I'm gonna take another bite. I'm serious. Whoa, I take back everything I thought about you, Betty Davis. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. This actually would go very well with ham. <laughs> yeah, mustard and ham. Mm-hmm. Classic deli. Pineapple and ham, I mean. Oh. 
Exactly. You know, Betty Davis was the highest earning woman in America in 1942. I did not know that. Yes, she was. And you know the 1980 song, Kim Carnes, Betty Davis Eyes? Let's just say I do. I don't want to disappoint you anymore. Well, Betty Davis really liked that song. I'll play it. She's got Betty mm -hmm. Davis she only had a few of us doing that on Washington. Well, here's my uh, Jane Russell Facebook lettuce puff. And unlike Jane Russell, it did not puff. <laughs> um, what do you think? I, I think it looks like if uh, we were watching National Geographic and it was an aerial shot of a tundra. A tundra? A tundra, because it's mostly brown. A lunar landscape. <laughs> oh, or that. <laughs> okay, well, I think it was supposed to souffle and really it's it's more like Ooh. a pudding. Okay, it's wow. an iceberg egg pudding. Oh man. Kind of disappointed. I take full responsibility, Jane Russell. Ooh, you know, tastes healthy. Like a, a watery omelet, <laughs> like a watery yeah. spinach omelet, it's, but it's not, watery. but not better than I would think. That's not saying a ton. No, it's watery because it's lettuce. Yep. You know, Jane Russell was born in Bemidji. I am a little ashamed to say I don't I don't know where that is like on what continent. Bemidji is like three hours north. Oh no, nope, I'm not from here. Bemidji, Minnesota is right east coast. You, you can at, what, at what point in my life would I have an excuse to You've go? You've lived here a long time. I know, but I, I live in the Twin Cities. I'm not. You've never heard of Bemidji? No. Paul Bunyan, Bay. I mean, I know of Paul Bunyan and Bay, but I okay. I feel very judged here. Okay, fine. And not and um. Not Jane so. Russell was pretty much her real name. It was Ernestine Jane Russell. But they didn't change it. Jane Russell from a Mitchie. 18 hour bra. Well, divas, I purposely picked these recipes from these great divas because I thought they were weird. And they were. Yes, you were not They were wrong. really, really weird. But thanks, because we all need a little weird in our life. We're thanks, Betty Davis, B. Arthur, Jane Russell. You're weird. <laughs>